Isn't that pretty? Bot walk that way. Probably like less than five minutes walk. The walk that way. We're actually going to check that one out because we kind of want. Not we, me. It's just me alone today. I kind of want Bloody Mary. We are at Santa Cruz Wharf and there's actually so many seafood restaurants and also fish market around here. We're not here for the seafood or are we? The thing is, I really want to try the one they say the best Bloody Mary around in Santa Cruz at least. So I'm thinking, like, try to <laughs> remember which one exactly that the person told me about it. It's that one. You guys, listen. There are sea lions, like a lot of them, big ones, hanging out. Seagulls flying around, people fishing over there. Anyways, Bloody Mary. So we're already here at the place. I came up on the second floor and coming out on the upstairs deck where like the most private possible so people don't think. There you go. Thank you. Mr. Will be right out. Yeah. Now here's what we going for. Bloody Mary mix. Yes, 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 yes. That one. Is that like uh, the only Bloody Mary yet? No, no, we, it's not. So we just have a regular Bloody Mary and it comes if you want like a smaller one and mm -hmm. this marine one comes with a kettle one and a pint glass with two choked prawns. Okay, cool. So I'll get that one please. Okay. It's here. A Marine Mary, Keto One Vodka, and a house made Bloody Mary mix. Vodka, tomato juice, Worcestershire hot sauce, lime juice, salt, black pepper, other spices. Served in a pint glass with two shield prawns. Specialty. See this? I don't even know what the place is called, but they say, someone say, and I actually believe the person that. Stagnary Bros. Restaurant at this Santa Cruz Wolf has the best, one of the best at least, Bloody Mary cocktail. So, ah! what do we get here? Lemon, lime, celery, olives, shoe shrimps. Let's have a sip. Ooh. You know what? Glad I forgot. <laughs> To actually tell them that I want it extra spicy because this is pretty spicy compared to whatever I've been having but this is good whoa you know how it happens this this guy his name American bartender work in Paris in the New York bar he's kind of mixed the tomato juice with the vodka and like the equal amount became pretty like yummy for a lot of people came back to New York do pretty much the same thing but then the New Yorkers they say it's pretty bland put something in then the guy actually put all this lime juice salt pepper and all the spices and it somehow became pretty popular the shrimp the celery this is pretty bright but it's pretty. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy. Thanks. Since we're here for the Bloody Mary itself, I ordered like a small samplers of the seafood platter. Deep fried calamari, two prawns, and clam strips. Mmm. 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 This is pretty good, you guys. 
It's pretty fresh. It's fresh actually because they even have like a like a fish market downstairs. Not gonna lie, but I already got that like Asian flush after <laughs> not even one fifth of the drink. Dipping it in the drink and then we just eat it. There's actually like a small difference between Canadian Caesar and American Bloody Mary. You know how they use like tomato juice for the Bloody Mary? Canadian Caesar drink, the cocktail drink, they use clam tomato juice. The clam juice with tomato juice all combined. So that makes it a little bit fishier, I guess. But I like it. I like it a lot. It's like the flavor, it's just umami. Mm. Imagine if it's raw shrimp. Yum. Sorry, it's a little bit red. For the garnish, they change it all the time, but one thing that really need to be in this Bloody Mary or Caesar thing. Mm. I like it like both of them, the Canadian Caesar cocktail drinks and also the American version of Bloody Mary cocktail drinks. Both of them are like the, the not normal kind of cocktail or other regular drinks you've seen out there. It's actually the mixture of all this fishiness and savory taste and spiciness also mixed all together. And some places you can't even get all the shrimps, bacons, pepperoni sticks, burger, pizza actually on it, on a drink. I think it's kind of like funny, it's unique, and at the same time, it's delicious. Have you guys tried either Bloody Mary or Caesar drinks before? If so, did you like it? And if not, would you go for one? Will you Bloody Mary me? 